Um, I'm actually up here not for a question, but just to uh, thank you, because um, what you have said needs to be heard. And I love the fact that you came up here with compassion. Um, I was a lesbian before I came to Christ. Really? And um, am completely set free and redeemed. And, um, Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, <laughs> and um, I guess one of the comments I just wanted to make was for people that who believe that they um, are born that way because the enemy has so lied and deceived um, people in that to truly believe that they were born did, gay. Did you think you were born that way? Yeah. And, and just to say this, even though there's no reputable evidence that anyone is born that way, if your earliest recollections and memories romantic attraction, sexual desires into the same sex, and you think this is what I've always been. I mean, who remembers what they felt when they were six months old? Right. Or who, who knew what attraction was when you were a year? But because it can be do so deep-seated, and because it's just the talking point, born gay, people, they yell at me, I know I was born gay. No, you don't know that. You don't know you were born at three months old, you were gay. No, you don't know that. But it's instilled so deeply or the, the attractions, the changes could come within two or three years you know, of, of, of birth, so it feels like that. And, and then how, uh, how long did you identify as a lesbian before coming to the Lord? Oh, man. <laughs> um, I came out as bi first um, in like the summer of ninth grade and 10th grade, and then came out as a lesbian after I graduated high school. So, so you I, felt you were being more honest with yourself to say you weren't bisexual, you were lesbian? Yeah. Right. And then did, did, you, did you still find yourself attracted to men at that time or not at all? No. Right. Not and, at all. and how long have you known the Lord now? Uh, seven years in October. Seven set, years in October. Free. Praise God. <laughs> I'm happy about it. Amen. When God touched you, yeah. uh, did you realize that he had something different for you? Did you have to come to grips that following Jesus means not living as a lesbian? Oh, let me tell you, this is, oh, he's just so awesome. Okay, so um, when he was just pursuing me, um, he started really healing my heart. The whole thing about um, the molestation and yeah. abuse, I believe is true. I, I personally was, and I've never met anybody in the LGBT community that hasn't been abused yeah, in some I mean, way. Listen, just along with that question, we hear it constantly. So when someone says it's not their own story, I believe them. But yeah. it is massively common, which means you're not born that way, and it's not what you were intended for, and it's, it's in some cases a clear reaction to a problem. Right. So when you get to the root of that, there can be freedom and healing. Amen. Well, he started to just, he started to bring up things. Um, and I am just going to say this because I feel like there are people in this room that are dealing with this. Um, for people who have, God brought, brought up multiple things from my past to bring me into healing. And there was a sermon I was watching, and I'm so thankful for this pastor to, to be obedient to say this. But he said that for those of you who have been raped or molested and liked the way it felt, and then you felt like you wanted that to happen, that the enemy like lied to you and made you believe that you actually wanted that to happen and that you were the, to blame, things like that. That was something that started just shaking things off for me. Mm. And it was his love, his love that like just drew me in. And the very last thing that God told me was that I had to give homosexuality over to him. So it was in that process of him wooing me that I, I, was, I was terrified, actually, because I, didn't, I had identified with that for so long. And I was like, okay, God, well, I don't know if I'm going to have to be single for the rest of my life, what this means, but I'm just going to pursue you. And he gave me to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and mm -hmm. lean not on your own understanding because we're gonna, things are going to happen that we don't understand. He's going to tell us to do things we don't understand, but we know that we can trust him. And then also that in all things, God works together for the good for yes. those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And so that's all things where... You know, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've been through, no matter what's been done to you, he promises to work it all together for the good. So that's like what I held on to. And he, I, so I just ran hard after him and pursued him back. And then 
he, within four months, just completely set me free, told me I have a husband three days later, which rocked me. And yeah, so it's just been this awesome seven year journey of just falling in love with Praise Jesus. God. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Praise yeah. God. Come on. Thank you, Jesus.